So my name is uh, Dr. Tim O'Connell. I'm a faculty member in the Department of Recreation and Leisure Studies at Brock University. And uh, I teach primarily in outdoor recreation, which includes outdoor leadership and resource management. And the course that I'm specifically talking about is Recreation and Leisure Studies 3P86, which is, which is Advanced Wilderness Program Planning. Uh, I have been teaching this course for uh, about 10 or 11 years. The first time I taught it was in 2007, and uh, this spring will be the 11th time that I've taught this course. So this course is, uh, is offered traditionally in the spring, and it's a two-week intensive course uh, that enables students to do some work on campus and to get out into the field um, as well. So the first two days of the course, we spend time on campus preparing to uh, take a seven-day canoe trip to Algonquin Provincial Park. So the students are responsible for uh, preparing a menu plan uh, and figuring out um, teaching components that they're gonna be responsible for sharing with other students. And that's a, one of the experiential components of this course is that while we're out on the canoe trip, students will be teaching a canoe skill to other students in their trip group. Um, Another experiential component it includes that, that menu planning piece, um, as well as when we're out on trip, they're also uh, revisiting and, and honing outdoor leadership skills and outdoor technical skills that they've learned in previous years. So the seven day canoe trip is a way to introduce uh, teaching technical canoe skills to them, as well as to revisit their uh, technical outdoor skills. Um, we leave uh, the middle of the first week for a seven day canoe trip to Algonquin Provincial Park and they'll travel in a group of eight or nine people which includes two instructors uh, for that week. Uh, again, practicing those technical skills and teaching each other how to canoe and then revisiting all of those foundational um, outdoor leadership skills and outdoor technical skills. And then we return to uh, St. Catharines and they spend the next day planning um, a canoe workshop which they then deliver to local high school students. So it's a one-day workshop and this is again a very experiential component of the course. So the Brock students are responsible for the entire day um, that they're working with the high school students. So we run that workshop at Charles Daly Park which is uh, right off Lake Ontario and the Brock students, uh, as soon as the, the high school students uh, show up, they're responsible for everything. So they'll do a welcoming, some games, some name games, some icebreakers, and then they're responsible for the canoe program for the rest of the day, which includes teaching technical skills. They're responsible for safety and risk management. They're also responsible for um, doing some kind of a program evaluation to figure out whether they've reached their goals and objectives that they've set up for, for themselves for that day. So that uh, is also experiential because the students in, in the Rec L 3PD6 course uh, have taken a programming class previously in their career in recreation and leisure studies. So it's integrating those programming skills with the teaching skills that they've just learned and then they're able to immediately after returning from the canoe trip put those into practice in a live, real-life setting with actual guinea pig high school students. Uh, over the years, um, we've had tremendous success with this program, and I think that uh, students, um, for their next, and so they really only have one year left at Brock after that, it's a, that course is a highlight um, of their time in outdoor recreation and recreation and leisure studies.